every now and then I come across these fool's gold fossils. So where the fossils being replaced with iron pyrite, which is a combination of iron and sulfur. And I've always been fascinated by fool's gold. And this is a sample that my grandfather gave me and just look how sparkly it is. And it's got these really intricate shapes that form naturally. And we had a super wet start to January. So I thought now's the time to try and get these fossils all sparkly. Let's try and polish them. Okay, I've got a few of these bits of iron pyrite over here. Um, this is a, a nautiloid. Really, really rusty nautiloid, but quite complete, that one, the tiny one. Uh, this is another section of nautiloid. And I had a really nice shell here. I suspect that's a little other uh, bivalve or brachiopod there and I've got some of this polishing compound I'm going to give this a go first this one over here that's the, the details for it it's for polishing copper brass and stainless steel so I wonder if it will work on iron pyrite <laughs> let's give it a go Excuse my really dirty hands, but you know the the eye of pirates making like this black powder. There there is a bit of detail coming out, but yeah, it's not getting that really really golden color. Um, there is a bit of like a goldy sheen on that side over there. I was happily polishing away and then suddenly all the magic smoke came out of my drill press here <laughs> and now it doesn't work anymore and every time I try and switch it on all my lights go out so I assume I wasn't supposed to put a lot of sideways pressure on the spindle that probably taxed the motor too much I should have put it on my bench grinder over there I'm taking apart this bench grinder because I want to mount this on it, the spindle. So what I want to do then is I want to mount these two, one on either side. One is for the final polish and one is for like a pre-polish. This is that nautiloid and it's actually really beautiful. I quite like it that it's got the shiny bits and then the, the darker bits to give it contrast. But yeah, that's come out really well. You can see the chambers down there actually. Like the chambers going around there. Yeah, that's so cool. It's actually quite golden. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera, but it's... I mean, it's it's fool's gold, so it's not exactly golden, but it's, yeah, it's quite golden. This one, you can see more the, the crystal structure of it. Yeah, look at the little square-shaped pyrite crystals inside there. Very sparkly. This one's real shiny. Yeah, so it is, it's definitely possible to get a shine from these fossils. I'd say that's a successful experiment. This is the one I was busy with when the drill press packed up. It's a little flabellum, a little coral, a little solitary coral. 
See, it was starting to get some shine there. Yeah, very cool. Thanks so much for joining me everyone for that slightly different fossil prep. I uh, really enjoyed uh, trying to get a polish on these fossils and they do actually get a really good polish. I'm going to keep my eye out for some more of them. I've seen some uh, pyrotite shark teeth come out there as well so that'll be really cool. Get a nice shiny uh, shark tooth. Before I polish another fossil I need to figure out how to attach this properly to the grinder. Because yeah, definitely wasn't very well attached as I found out when I tried to switch it on again. <laughs> Stay safe everyone and I'll see you on the next hunt.